Hey guys, for all of those that don't know, I did go to college and I dropped out. Um, a lot of my friends or kids that I knew in high school asked me why I dropped out or uh, adults tell me that it's a super bad idea. And honestly, it was all super calculated and it came down to a few simple facts. So I just want to talk about them in this video and go through the whole story. That way I don't have to keep explaining it to people. Um, I'm not sure how long this video will be. It's not that complex of a story. But I just wanted to talk about it because I think it'd be a good uh, video idea. So, first things first, I didn't drop out of college because of bad grades. I had pretty good grades in college. My lowest grade was in composition, which was like an 84 or something like that. So, my grades weren't bad at all. Um, when I was in school, it was a real stress on me because my mom had went through a divorce about last year in my senior year in February of 2018 and things kind of fell apart at that point in time in my life. Um, like the money situation in the house started getting really rough because my mom was a real estate agent at the time and she relied on commissions. So some months we would be really good, but some months we wouldn't have enough money and I'd have to pitch in for my personal savings and stuff that I was saving up for college in the first place. So this was a stressor the entire time I was out there just trying to figure all of this out. Um, another thing was when I was out there I didn't have a car which wasn't bad at all or whatever because you could do whatever you want on campus without a car really but it just made it real difficult to come home and I felt so reliant on my mom to drive three hours away from the house to come get me and that wasn't a good feeling also I didn't even know what I was going to school for like my degree like my major was business and I don't even like know what a business job would be like, I think it's so weird that I thought I was just going to get a business degree and go have a job that I like because I think a, being a businessman would be cool. I think that whole concept is really, like, warped and really pushed in high school to students that they have to go to college or they're not going to do anything with their life. Um, so, yeah, I was just, like, kind of in a stage of confusion the entire time I was down there. So fast forward to a little bit later in the semester, and my math class starts giving me a real hard time. At this point, my grade did drop below like an 85, and I was down like at a 65 because the class was so hard. And I remember studying for the class like two, three hours like every night or every other night, going to study groups with friends, um, just doing a lot of hard work that I just didn't see paying off and just remembering like, there's no reason for me to have to do this. I don't think what I'm gonna be doing later on is gonna require these skills. So that started to build up kind of like halfway through the first semester. <laughs> so this was just like something in the back of my head. Well, towards the end of the semester, it didn't really get better. I kind of maintained the same grade around that around that range, so about a 60 to 70 range. So it was like right before, like I could have been passing like with the 70, um, but it was just so hard. And no matter how much time I put in, I feel like I would always just miss it and that I wasn't gonna do good and succeed in school. So fast forward to one of the tests that we took, and it was like the second or third before the before the um, exam for the semester. And I remember getting a I remember getting a 57 on that test, and I just thought to myself, like, I don't, I just don't see a, like, I remember thinking to myself, I'm not going to go to school and just fail and just continue to keep trying on something that I don't even want to do in the first place. That's also going to put me in debt. Because you have to remember, the divorce that happened the year before had basically just ruined my college savings. And I didn't have a car, so it was very hard to go to get a, get a job on campus. The closest one was like three quarters of a mile away. And the hours were terrible. And it just wasn't worth it. I mean, I looked into getting jobs and stuff, but I just didn't have any transportation. So even then, housing is so expensive. Like, everything just didn't make sense to me financially. And I know that I'm a pretty, pretty, uh, smart kid when it comes to like my finances and stuff so I was like it'll be fine I can take care of myself and I will go home help my mom out because she's still super in a slump from all the divorce stuff that happened and I'll get a job and I'll work on what I what I, I'll work on what I want to like I guess like figure out what I want to do with my life and so I'm at the point to where like I'm not like it's a, a year later and it's probably the best decision I made because financially I'm booming, um, like mentally I'm doing so much better. I literally have like a great life right now. I practically can do whatever I want within my means. Um, it's just like awesome. And I think that this is something that should really be like stressed upon 
in school a little bit more to like find what you want to do. I think the jobs that they push on you shouldn't be jobs that you have to have a degree for. Because like for example, being a real estate agent doesn't take a degree at all. It'll take like a like two or three weeks worth of studying if you're smart enough and you could pass the test for a couple hundred bucks. And any kid could really save that up from working a like a minimum wage job if they just want to put in the time and learn the, the industry. Also learning a trade is super good. Um, but a lot of kids might not want to do that. They might not want to do physical work. But then again, you have other industries like the real estate industry. You could go do IT and get certifications that'll help you, um, that'll get you good jobs. Like for example, Cisco systems. Um, I don't know too much about them, but I know that you can get certified in Cisco systems and make a decent amount of money. As well as just like, there's just so many options out there. So that's why I dropped out was because of because of how I was mentally and financially in the situation. Um, I don't think college is bad, per se. I don't wanna make this video just like ragging on college because um, I'm, not, I'm not that kind of guy. I have a lot of friends that go to college and I think college is really good for the education country. But the, the simple thing to me is just like, it costs way too much. And the stigma that's pushed on colleges is so bad. Um, that's what I saw firsthand while I was down there. Like the way people act just because they're in a university that they don't, they don't act like. Like literally my schedule was going to class, coming home, and I would just work on stuff on my computer. Like just vi like a bunch of different stuff. Like I did graphic design at the time. Um, I just did a bunch of different projects with friends and I enjoyed that a lot more than any job that I'm gonna have to get with this course. Like I'm not really worried about money is the is the point of the not going to college thing because if you just manage your money smartly you don't have like it's smartly a word if you just manage your money like really smart you don't have to um you don't have to make a ton like that's so that's such a bad concept that people don't understand and it's not taught in school either is like how to manage your money and all that but yeah so my advice for people that are like kind of contemplating this um, is to really be sure you know what you're doing because like ultimately if you want to be like a teacher or a psychologist or a doctor or something that you know what you want to be already then probably college is the best choice for you but to pro I would recommend going about it probably the best way financially. I didn't go about it the best way financially because I didn't know what I wanted to do and so I thought I'll just go to university for four years and figure it out. Well you go to university for one year and you realize that it's pretty expensive. Um, that's the harsh reality of it. And then you just put out a bunch of money for something that you don't even want to do. And I'm glad that I dropped out when I did because I would have accrued another semester worth of student loan debt just to still be hating my life is the is what is what um it's what it's come down to. That's the reality of things. So but yeah, um if you have any questions about this, just let me know down below. I'll uh I'll be sure to answer them in another video. I never really saw myself making this video because for the past year I've been really ashamed of it. Um, especially like working around the hometown that I grew up on, grew up in. It's, uh, there's a lot of stigma around college here and a lot of people are really judgmental. Um, not gonna say anyone in particular because like not a single person like, well, yeah, single, single people do tell you that you're making a bad mistake and all these people think that you should go get all this student debt, but I don't think that's how it is. And I'm happy that I'm making this video so that I can look back on it whenever I do like get on my own and become like extremely successful because I'm just so driven, like in whatever thing I do, I'm super driven. It's just the sole fact that I haven't found out what I really want to do with my life yet, which is why I haven't developed, I guess you could say but I'm not worried at all. Like I'm super confident that everything's gonna work out um, financially and success wise. So, um, but yeah, let's like touching on the, the social stigma around like being in your hometown after you dropped out. I mean, I went back to my restaurant job as soon as I came home because it was the quickest way for me to get back working somewhere to help my mom pay some bills. And I mean, I see, you see counselors from your school and kids from your school that went to college and they just like, like they don't say anything directly, but it's like 100% like you can tell that there's just like a stigma like, oh, this kid's the, this kid's the one that's like dropped out of college or he's, he's still in his hometown working a restaurant job. 
And you know, I, I don't I don't know if I'm saying that just because I'm biased towards it because that's how I felt and I was really insecure about dropping out. But that's just what it seemed like to me. And the truth to be told is I probably had or still have a lot more money to my name than these kids that dropped out. Um, I'm not saying that to brag or anything. I'm just kind of putting it into perspective like the kids that are at college or whatever going to do something they don't want to do being miserable with their lives that they're going to get like a 60k job with. Um, it's just like you can make $60,000 and it's not that hard. Like $60,000 is not a lot of money. Neither is 100000 It's what people want you to think is a lot of money. It's why like 70 to 80% of Americans are living paycheck to paycheck because it's easy to spend it. Like it's easy to spend that, my, that amount of money. Um, it really comes down to learning saving habits and being smart with money in order to actually grow in life. Which I'm glad that I went to college for the sole reason alone of teaching me how to manage my money. Um, the job that I worked before, like for my high school years, my paychecks were on average like 600 bucks. And the last, I think like two weeks before school, I didn't work because I was like, I need to get ready for school, even though there was nothing to really get ready for. So I had about, I didn't really have much savings saved up because of the divorce and I kept on having to pay bills. So I had like 900 to a thousand dollars saved up. And I ran through that in like the first like month or two at college and I was broke and I came up with ways to make money. I sold a bunch of stuff and all this and that. But at the end of the day, I mean, I had no car and it was just, it was a really tough time for me. And the truth, like honestly, I made it through and I learned some super good like money management skills throughout the way. And those skills I hold with me to this day and that's how I'm able to save so much of my money. Um, if you know me in person, like within the past like couple months, um, you'll know that I don't really spend money on anything. My biggest expense is food which I would say is about 70 to 80 bucks a month. Um, it's been going up here a little bit just because I got introduced to Chipotle a little bit and I've been eating it quite a bit. But other than that, like my, like when I first came back, my food expenses was like 30 to 40 bucks a month. And it's slowly increasing and it's something that I need to get on, like get on top of. But I think a hundred a month for food, like eating out is a fine amount in my budget. So until I get over that, I probably won't cut back that hard. But I save a lot of my money and I put it in places into investments that make it back for me. Um, the dollar has a lot more value when it's making you money, money than when you're spending it. And that's something I learned while I was in college. But um, other than that, I'm just kind of rambling on at this point. So I could make a follow-up video, follow video to this if you wanted. Um, just let me know down below. I don't even know if this video will get that many views just because my channel's small. I'm at like 95 subscribers right now. I'm still making these videos for fun. Um, another little update, I've been taking pictures with my camera and getting better at photography, so that's always a good feeling. But other than that, um, I hope you all have a good day and enjoyed my story because I've been meaning to get it off my chest and I've been really like, it's, it's been held up in me for a while and it's going to be real hard to post this honestly because of how, uh, how I felt about the whole dropping out thing. But at this point, my life's going really good and I don't regret a single decision that I've made in the past year. So, like I said, um, ask me questions down below. Um, tell me any video ideas you want to see, like whether or not you like these sitting down talking videos, which I've done for the past couple videos, or maybe some vlogs, or maybe some pranks. I just don't know what to do with the channel yet, and I still I make these videos for fun just because I truly enjoy making them. So, um, but yeah, I mean, I just sat down for 15 minutes and told a story that I didn't want to tell anyone just because I wanted something to film. It kind of put it into perspective. But yeah, I hope you all have a good day. And um, yeah, that's it. Uh, I don't know how to end the video. I'll just roll the, uh, I'll roll the outro screen now.